Let's talk about calculating the ABV of your homebrew. Very, very simple. We're gonna break this into four pieces, okay? This formula is very, very simple, but let's start with part one. Original gravity. Now, when I say original gravity, what I mean by that is once you've added all of the liquid to your brew, anything that's going to give off liquid, if you have whole fruit in there, it's okay to put that in because sometimes there's juices that could be part of it. Once all of that is in there, that is when you take your original gravity. You can take it before or after adding yeast. Some people like to wait till wait to add the yeast until afterwards because the yeast can stick to it and it can make things a little bit weird. If you have other floating solids that don't give off juice, you might want to hold off until you take your original gravity first. There's a very important reason for this. You want that to be as accurate as possible because, well, you can only be as accurate as your readings and the tools you're using to take those readings, as we'll get to in a little while. Your original gravity reading should come from a hydrometer or you can use a refractometer if you want to. There's calculators online to make the adjustments from brick and whatnot, I like to use specific gravity. If you're going to use something else, I might not be able to help you with this video because I'm going to be using specific gravity to calculate this. Do yourself one huge favor when you're taking your original gravity. Do it as soon as possible. Don't wait days or weeks before you take your original gravity because it's no longer an original gravity at that point. Now it's a fermented gravity. So all of your measurements after that would be pretty much invalid for calculating alcohol by volume, which if that's your point and you want to calculate it, well, you kind of want to do it as soon as possible. Okay, so that's step one. Part two is your final gravity. Now this is where it's a little bit tricky. Some people get this confused. Your final gravity is literally when fermentation stops, okay? That's it, that's the final gravity. If you were to dilute that or anything like that, You'd probably want to take that as your final gravity, but try not to dilute your brews unless you absolutely need to. So that's a whole other topic. And we do have videos on calculating that sort of thing. And I might even do another more complex video trying to keep this one as simple as possible. But anyway, final gravity literally just means when the brew is finished. This number should be lower than your original gravity. In other words, if your original gravity was say 1.100, your final gravity could be something like 1.000 or even lower, like 0 0.994, 0 0.996, something like that. So your final gravity is also before you back sweeten. So if you were to back sweeten and pasteurize or stabilize in any way, you wanna make sure that the reading is before you add those other sugars because they don't reduce the amount of alcohol you have, they don't change the amount of alcohol. They're just more stuff being added to the brew. Yes, I am very aware that if you add enough of, of these sugars or things like that, you will actually change the volume of the brew and it does actually alter the ABV, but that's a little bit more complicated than we really want to get into here. And everything about homebrew is an approximation anyway. So you can be as simple as you want or as complicated as you want. I'm trying to keep it just a little bit simple. What we do is we take that original gravity minus the final gravity and take that number right there, multiply that by part three, which is the coefficient. I use 135, 135 as my coefficient. You've probably seen other people that use 131.25. That's accurate up to eh, around seven to 8% alcohol. If you don't know what your alcohol is gonna be, just use 135. It's close enough all around. It works really, really well. If you're not sure why I use that, I do have a video on that too. I hate to keep referencing other videos, but I don't want this to be a four hour long video and I don't want this to be tons and tons of math. As I said, you take your original gravity minus your final gravity. That's a number now. You take that number, multiply that by 135, and that gives you part four, which is your alcohol by volume. Very, very simple. So the formula is, in parentheses, OG minus FG times 135 equals ABV. And that's how you calculate alcohol by volume for homebrew. Remember when I was saying before that you can only be as accurate as your tools? Well, most hydrometers really only have a dot every two points. So when people come back and they say, oh, well, my alcohol, my alcohol by volume is 10.7624. Well, you really can't be that accurate. Generally speaking, what I do, I round it off to a half or a whole number. So if it comes out to 10.3%, I call that 10. Comes out to 10.78%, I call that 10.5. I generally round down, because here's the thing. Does that half point really matter? Does it really make a difference? Can you even taste a difference of a half point of alcohol? I know I have a really tough time with anything less than one point of alcohol by volume, so I don't think it really matters all that much and better safe than sorry. One thing of note, in the US at least, winemakers only need to be within a percentage point or two 
of the actual ABV in order to be legal. So as a home brewer, if you're within half a point, <laughs> you're doing better than most commercial winemakers have to. So it's really, really simple. If you have any questions on how to calculate your ABV or about the way we did it in this video, let me know in the comments below and we'll be happy to help you out. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.